So I really thought there was no summertime render episode this week, but guess I'm wrong. <laughs> Because of that, I started to watch and react to Made in Abyss. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. But enough of that. I'm one day or how many days delay watching this um, update. So let's just go to my summertime render episode 10. Watch along and reaction. Let's go. We're back. Okay, so this is the last part where the mother of the shadows grabbed Shimpei during their movie or memory replay. Damn, that's really creepy. Yeah, it turned into something like you saw in horror. Oh, so Shimpei remembered that face. Right. Oh, okay. So that's why he was able to, yeah. And that's why she was able to restore herself in the beach. I see. Uh, Shinpei is using a cheat. <laughs> mm -hmm. He doesn't want to waste um, Ushio's sacrifice, so he's more pumped up this time to, to beat this shadow's ass also they only have one day left before the festival <laughs> no you'll have you'll have a yokata and you'll really look good on it Wait. Why? Oh, Tokiko's getting kinda sus. Or does she has her personal reason? Whoa, the shift in character. Does Tokiko know something? in a baseball set <laughs> defense plus 10 <laughs> attack plus 5 for the baseball bat <laughs> equip is uh, what's his name shows really treating this as a game show not show so <laughs> I told you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the policeman guy Oh, so that old man was Sauce's father. Mm. I think this was the place where they were shown last time. With him in a shadow in, in the wheelchair. Yeah, I think he's definitely hiding that wheelchair shadow there. <laughs> Oh, she is so cute. <laughs> In her swimsuit. <laughs> 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 
Ya. <laughs> Two weirdos. You're both weirdos. <laughs> In terms of your battle outfit. <laughs> Yeah, remember their 3D body is just their weapon. Ah. <laughs> so that is easy for her to multitask. It's like there's a partition of tasks available in her memory space. <laughs> yeah, because She's dealing with data, so that actually made sense, right? Oh. <laughs> Here goes Ushio's cute side. <laughs> like it's just recently been used oh no so these are old stuff studying how to treat the shadow sickness here whoa that's one of a hell creepy statue yeah <laughs> he took the words out of my mouth Shinpei what is that thing Okay, so that's but yeah, it look kinda different. The first game. Oh Hiroko. Heteromorphic. So it's both male and female. Oh so that's what that Hiroko thing is. Teach like with no arms. Yeah, that matches the description. <laughs> Wonder if that local date is related to this series of events. <laughs> she really gets spooked easily. Oh, another clue. Album, an old album. Just so easy to manipulate. Food is just for food, anything she'll do. Oh, she also uses the flash as a skill. Oh, things are really getting interesting. So, this is a secret compartment, I think.
there's something hidden, really hidden down there. <laughs> Louis really like Ushio's reactions. <laughs> so precious. <laughs> oh, that looked kind of weird. <laughs> My dirty mind is thinking of something else. <laughs> Stop staring at that, Shinpei. Oh, so that... Okay, sh he had the same idea. <laughs> wow. Oh, so there's the key. Ushio's shadow abilities are really getting convenient for them. Oh, amazing. Nice one. And I feel like I'm playing Resident Evil because I just recently played it last night. <laughs> you know, the a uh, scary atmosphere, the keys, the hidden doors, you know. <laughs> the mark left on Shinpei's arm is really bugging me. Oh, it's getting really creepy. We have to get Tucker. Yeah, I I like this side of Shimbi. Just saying it, but he doesn't really want to lose Ushio. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to protect Ushio. getting flustered. <laughs> so cute. We got to see a lot of Ushio's cute side in this episode. Oh, someone was copied and erased. No, someone was er erased by a shadow in here. Oh, it was from a very old time. Be careful, Ushio. Yeah, let our boy handle it. He learned the he learned the the trick from the old man. The fuck is that? Starting to turn like. Shutter with those kind of sound. <laughs> Is that a baby? Yeah, what if it turns the other way around? Is it eating or playing with the mouse? It 
doesn't seem to be harmful. What what what's with the the glowing thing? Yeah. Can't it see things around it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There goes the creepy BGM again. So that's where the outfit, the baseball outfit was actually useful. No. Yeah, he can't. Sh he can't shoot. The shadow, the shadow. Fight for the shadow. Yeah, breathe. Like you've done ever since that day. Nice save. Play. <laughs> I think Shinpei has other some some kind of ability. So he's actually practicing. Oh, what's happening? I believe they mentioned there were three shadows. He's seen the real terror in front of his eyes. The damage is still there. Nice thinking, so. Okay. Does she need to understand the function? Yeah. So that's why the shadows are erasing the original humans that they're capping. So he has a cheat. <laughs> Only ammo. No, I don't. I don't think 
it works the same way with humans. He definitely said it's just specific for machines, so I think I'm wrong on that one. What? Oh no, what the? There's so many babies, but. Is it the end? Yeah, I know it. We've had enough of drama from the last episode, so this time we are going down to the creepy uh, mystery trailer side of things. It really felt like I'm playing Resident Evil again watching this episode. You know, those kind of key puzzles and the hidden doors and stuff. Also, I like how they are maximizing now um, Ushio's true potential as a shadow. She really she's really been useful and convenient <laughs> to the party <laughs> the level of creepiness on this episode is on a different level from the the eerie and the creepy bgm playing throughout the episode to those weird looking statues and baby shadows it's really weird i think i've seen enough of weird shits this day maybe the place is some sort of a breeding grounds for the shadows because it kind of makes sense if those baby shadows are like larvae or undeveloped shadows in which they are being fed to grow into or evolve into fully developed shadows. That's how it looked like to me watching this episode. But yeah, I think that's another mystery that we'll need to look forward to the next episode. But yeah, what about you? How did you feel while watching this episode? Did you also feel the creepiness? Did you get scared? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. And if you're still here and if you're enjoying watching this kind of videos, please do leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And that's it. See you again in the next episode. Arigatengs kusai much. Ciao.